doesn't matter where you come from, what you have or don't have. All you need to have is faith in God, an undying passion for what you do and what you choose to do in this life, and a relentless strive and the will to do whatever it takes to be successful in whatever you put your mind to. Success is not an accident, success is actually a choice. If you don't fall how are you going to know what getting up is like? There's more to me than just this jersey I wear, and that's Christ living inside of me. Success is born out of faith, an undying passion, and a relentless drive. Everything happens for a reason, and everything has a story, and if you take time to realize what your dream is and what you really want in life, whether it's sports, whether it's in other fields, you have to realize that there's always work to do. Basketball isn't just a sport. It is an art, one that must be mastered to succeed. Each game is an opportunity to be on a great stage and be a witness for Christ. When I step on the floor, people should know who I represent, who I believe in. Success comes after you conquer your biggest obstacles and hurdles. What I tell people is be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to live anybody else's story. Every time I rise up, I have confidence that I'm going to make it. If you take time to realize what your dream is and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports or in other fields, you have to realize that there is always work to do, and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do, and you put yourself in a position to be successful. And you have to have a passion about what you do. I'm not the guy who's afraid of failure. I like to take risks, take the big shot and all that. It represents a Bible verse I wear on my shoe. Philippians 4.13. It says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's also my mantra, how I get up for games and why I play the way I do. I love that basketball gives me the opportunities to do good things for people and to point them towards the man who died for our sins on the cross. On the court, I'm not afraid of anything. I try to have confidence and have a belief in myself. I prepare to the point where instinct take over. I know I have a place in heaven waiting for me because of him, and that's something no earthly prize or trophy could ever top. The best shooters shoot the exact same way every single time they look at the basket. I've never been afraid of big moments. I get butterflies. I get nervous and anxious, but I think those are all good signs that I'm ready for the moment. Think very carefully about what you want in life. Reckon with the risks. I do a little sign on the court every time I make a shot or a good pass and I pound my chest and point to the sky, it symbolizes that I have a heart for God. It's something that my mom and I came up with in college and I do it every time I step on the floor as a reminder of who I'm playing for. Kids put life into perspective. I never have a bad day. Life happens and you get bad news sometime, or things don't go your way at work, for me that might mean I lose a game or not play well, but that doesn't affect my mood from day to day. I love going home and seeing the smiles on my daughter's faces being happy to see me, and that makes everything alright. There's more to life than basketball. The most important thing is your family and taking care of each other and loving each other no matter what. The more years I go, the more experience I have, the more that nutrition and eating the right foods is important for recovery and things like that. 
In my terms, neurocognitive efficiency is being able to make smarter, faster decisions on the floor. You don't have to live anybody else's story. What goes through my head when I'm going to take a game-winning shot is, I better make it. Don't be afraid of the moment. It's a really weird mindset to kind of try to take my mentality on the basketball court and bring it here onto the golf course. I don't want to have too high of expectations on, like, each hole, just try to enjoy the process, but hopefully get out to a good start tomorrow and be in the conversation and see what happens. It's all about winning. Stats really don't matter, I mean, guys have great series and all that, and people take notice and take their place in history with those stats and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning and what you can do to help your team get to that point. Every step of the way I think you learn something that makes you a better player, and all those lessons really come out when it matters the most in a championship. In a game, there are so many different variables that are thrown at you, the defense, where your teammates are, how fast your body is moving, and you have to be in control of all those decisions. I can't say enough, how important my faith is to how I play the game and who I am. No better blessing than the responsibility of fatherhood. I can get better. I haven't reached my ceiling yet on how well I can shoot the basketball. We overload in our workouts so that the game slows down in real life. It helps you become a smarter basketball player. If you're not prepared to give some truly independent thought to what this world is all about, then what is the point of being alive? I'd rather be a non-all-star playing in the Western Conference Finals than an all-star who's sitting at home in May. He credited his teammates, who he thanked in turn, with challenging him every day and driving him forward and making him a better player. The funny part is I feel like somebody is stalking me, like, at my local course and sizing up my game. Being a father kind of gives you something more to play for. I still have a Lydia co-signed golf ball in my sock drawer that I'll keep for a while. I liked school and was a bit of an all-rounder academically, I struggled with music. I can't hold a note when singing and abandoned any notion of a career in music after barely scraping a pass in grade 2 piano. I learned how quickly I actually released my shot off the dribble. I know that's something I work on, and really use in games, but I didn't know exactly how quick it was, down to like the millisecond. Being a superstar means you've reached your potential, and I don't think I've reached my potential as a basketball player and as a leader yet. I really cherish everything that basketball brings, and I think, for me, it's been a great ride and I'm not done yet. Have a day off, which is very rare in our line of work, but that's something we like to do. Like I said, it's a nice way to take your mind off the game and just go out and relax and have fun. You obviously have your routines that you rely on, then you go out and play and have fun. For us in basketball, we have a seven game series, so you have time to adjust if you need to. It's a fun experience to go through, and one that I'll remember for a long time. All 14 guys on the team have sacrificed something to get to this point. I have much less confidence on the greens than I do on the court. Everybody asks like if putting is like shooting free throws. Like that six footer for par or something like that. It has a very similar kind of mindset. I'm pretty confident, let's just say that, in my game right now, for what it is. 
So, if that means a win, then I'll be really happy. Every decision he made, I think everybody bought into it. Whether you understood it or not, you bought into it. Because he's a champion. He's won five of these or something like that, so you've got to trust a guy that's been here before and his view for our team. If I make a double bogey, the fans on whatever hole better watch out, I might throw it. I might throw it at them. I can accomplish all those. It's really awkward, kind of, for me coming out here and being in a competitive golf atmosphere. I don't get to do it but once a year, except my, like, local tournaments back home in Oakland. I try to use every game as an opportunity to witness. I try to do a little signal every time I make a shot as a way to preach the message in little ways that I can. I'm a golf junkie, but I'm a sports fan. I'll watch pretty much everything that's on. We want to get another one. My wife would probably say I'm the messiest person in the history of husbands. Obviously he deserved that finals MVP award. He is a great talent and he is a huge reason why we are celebrating. Basketball was mine, and that's what's carried me to this point. This was an unbelievable experience. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.